Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4 when we last left off. Um I think we just moved again. Yeah, we just moved again. Uh we mission to improve our prestige. Unlikely to happen just because of how slowly we actually get prestige. Money we're doing poorly with, but that's alright. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, grain, good. Uh, I lose the stability. I don't want to lose the stability. I think I need that as much as I can. Uh, so here's kind of my plan. Um, I kind of given this some thought. Staying in the Mississippi River is a bit stupid. There's just too many people. There's too much stuff going on. You know, and even if you got down to, you know, uh, one of these, you'd still... You know, you'd still end up having to compete with a ton of other people. I'm thinking of moving over to California. Move here to Pomo, which is, I guess, the uh, the trade post or the the actual center of trade, and then just expand, take all of this land, uh, and just sort of own this entire trade node. Maybe I don't know. It's it's a thought, because again, you know, obviously we know the Europeans are going to come from out here, and they're going to settle this area, and there's going to be a lot of fighting, so I'm thinking if I can get over here, expand, and even, you know, build a sort of one province walkway, almost, to the coast where the Europeans show up, maybe then I can, you know, westernize or survive you know, long enough. And also, you know, if you're if you're over here and this is my capital, well, you know, they're only going to come at me from two provinces. You know, it's not like they're going to be, you know, just, oh, they can just surround you and come at you with for everyone. Um, now, what does that mean for our newfound alliances and newfound uh, federations? I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking... We move out there, continue to, you know, gather our points and stuff, obviously, as much as we can. Uh, settle here in Pomo. And then... Yeah, see, these are all uh, exhausted bits of land, so I'm thinking... I go here, and maybe here, and then back through uh, the area that we started in. We will end up... Uh, sort of able to do a lot more. Um, let's... Uh, we can't really do anything at the moment. Like, I know there's a declare war for humiliation thing that we can do. Um, uh, let's... We actually do have a diplomat free, so let's... No, we don't, we don't actually get it against anybody who isn't uh, our, you know, nearby sort of thing. Who isn't our nearby sort of thing. Uh, who isn't our neighbor. That's the nearby sort of thing that I was thinking of. I'm an idiot, jeez. Uh, so we can't actually do anything about that. This is tax modifier minus 50% until 1469 because I left that territory. Um, but I'm thinking if we jump up here to Mandan and then sort of scoot through these two once their modifiers go away, um, we can sort of start making our way over to California. And also, you know, there's not a lot of... Protect against the Shoshone. Shoshone have six. Equal to or larger than... Yeah largely irrelevant, it doesn't matter to me. Um, then I think we can perhaps, you know, they broke our, their alliance with us because they're now our rival. I think they did break the uh, rival ally thing going on a little bit uh, because, you know, it's just it just behaves weirdly. Let's... You know what? Let's bump our maintenance up. 
Let it climb up here. We're going to go to war with them. Uh, and try to... You know, punish them for breaking their alliance with us kind of thing. And let's... You know what? For fun, let's... Uh, you probably won't accept an alliance. No, because they have rivaled us. Tit against the Shoshone. Uh... Equal or larger to six, and then let's go build a, another archer. This will be sort of a good thing to do. Um, we can get an advancement. Let's go morale of armies. Uh, yeah, morale of armies I think is going to be better because it's going to help us uh, with our fighting as opposed to shock or something like that. I don't know if that really matters too much. Um, since our leader is a bit crap, let's make him into a general and hope that he isn't as bad at leading troops as he is at being our king or our... Insult Shoshone, uh, let's see if we can do that. Not until 1463, okay. Well, we'll take that and this. Uh, you are at war against Cheyenne, so we will declare war on you as well, and then march our troops in. There we go, we beat them, uh, and now we will siege their, siege their shit. We're at war with the Cheyenne. Oh, here at war over there. Um, so let's... <coughs> We'll just chase them down. It'll be easier this way. There we go. Chase them down. Uh, we can build a building, but I don't really want to. We are losing money every turn, but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll just sit and siege their territory and then force them to give us... a uh, vassal? Um, you can become a vassal, show strength, lose 20 prestige, we'll gain 20 of each monarch power. Um, uh, you probably don't have a lot of gold, do you? No, 13 gold. Okay, so we'll just do our show strength thing. We don't really want to make them a vassal, to be honest with you, just because... Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe we do, but I think that getting more power will be better because we're going to be moving out of this territory anyway soon. Mm -hmm. Sieges are going well. Well, our siege, our one siege is going well. Uh, we are losing money every month. Could reduce inflation or uh, get more, you know, something out of it, but that's okay. Merchant is still in Mississippi collecting taxes. That's good. This will finish in 1469, so we'll do this. We'll move to Mondan. Next move, we'll move back to our home territory and then sort of scoot that way. This, 42% chance to surrender. Um, not quite an accurate picture of, you know, what the city looks like, because that's a lot of castles and walls and stuff. I think it's much more of, you know, a, a, a little bit of land or a little bit of, you know, wooden fort, maybe, at most. We are collecting these. We are ready to migrate again when we... Good. Uh, let's just pop up and pause. Thank you. Uh, march our troops back. Diplomacy. Or here, I'll just do this. Uh, show strength. Send demand. You lose 20 prestige. Uh, and they... Let's... Uh, come on. March back to here. I can't believe they moved while we were, um... <sighs> Let's see. 
I just want to make sure this is 1469. Let's move to Mandan and then we'll migrate. Have to wait until 1461 until we do it again. Might just be better, worth it to move there because 1461, which m would mean let's see, it's 1457. So every four years. So every four years we can migrate. So if this finishes, it's uh, depleted until 1469. Uh, that's 1465, 1461. We'd have to move two more times. Yeah, I think it's just going to be better if we just move back to our original province. Um, I know that sounds... Like, not quite the best, but... You know... I, I know we're losing money for it. I know we're losing quite a bit of money for it, but... You know... I, I think, given the, given the, the time that we have... Collect from trade... Yes, good. Send someone to collect from trade again. Uh, lose a stability. Damn it, I didn't want to lose a stability. I hate it when they make me lose stability for some stupid reason. Let's just cancel that. Uh, I do want to stay at zero stability. Uh, it is just better that way. Good news, we got fur. Uh, bad news, we're... Oh, we're actually not losing money anymore. Let's lower our maintenance down, try to get a bit more money if we can. Uh, still can't afford any advisors, unfortunately. Kind of the, the double-edged... ...sword, I suppose, of, uh... You're actually at war against the Shoshone. Uh... Okay, we don't really care, to be honest with you. Uh, this will boost up soon. I want to get colonists, but I think maybe, um... Oh, we're at war. So we're sue humiliation of... Oh, they're fine. I don't care. They can deal with it themselves. Unless I can get something out of the peace treaty. I could get something out of the peace treaty. Uh, let's... Okay, fine. We'll... Maintenance goes up. You guys walk this way. Let's we'll march around and get to your Minnesota territory. I didn't think the natives would have called it Minnesota, but... Okay. <coughs> Once our, um, once our morale improves or gets full, then we will, uh, march over there and kill their army. There we go. Good. Kill that, and we'll march up here. Again, I really need to set it so that when battles finish... Up and pause, thank you. I don't know why you've decided to reset all of my uh, usual stats or whatever the hell it is. Uh, we can build province improvements. We don't really want to. Um, we're losing a lot of money in terms of well, everything. This is finished. Uh, diplomatic reputation. Uh, or trade diplomacy, better relations over time. Uh, I know I want colonists, but I think I'll probably get easily another... We'll go diplomatic reputation right now. We'll easily have another uh, idea, or possibly even two, by the time we get over to where we want to eventually settle. So yeah, essentially what this does is you move around to places that you want to be at, and then, you know... 
deal with that there, I guess. I don't know. Um, invite to Federation, they will accept. So let's... They won't accept an alliance, though. Uh, let's go improve relations. Uh, once this guy surrenders, I'll march my troops back. We can stop kind of losing so much money. Uh, we're at 6 of 6 for right now. Oh, off an alliance. Good. Off an alliance, yes. Invite to Federation. They can't because uh, we're at war. Well, we're both at war because of this guy, right? So yeah, we're going to kind of run over to the coast and expand, is what kind of I'm thinking we're going to do. Uh, and that way, you know, we can also lower our army maintenance, make some money. So we'll pay 36 Ducats. Uh, to them, not for not to me, necessarily. <laughs> uh, invite to Federation, yes, sure. Let's get some more people in our Federation, why not? Um, send our guys back. Uh, we probably will suffer a bit of attrition on the way there. Uh, this one expires in 1469 as well. You are... Did you declare war on someone? You know what? Let's... Sure, boost our army maintenance up. We'll go to war with you because you have very few troops and we don't really care about you. Being a traitor. I don't know if that matters. Let's see when our next migrate is. Our next migration is 1461. I guess we could wait until 1461 migrate and then... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll wait until 1461 migrate and then... Uh, you know, attack the Blackfoot. Right? Yeah, because... Well, it's almost a year. Ah, eh, screw it. We'll go to war. Declare war. Take the capital. Troops have full morale. We are making money. This will be good for us. And there we go. Now you guys, uh, four of you are going there. So let's go there. Let's follow you back to our home province. And the rest of you are going to Bannock on the 28th of June. Uh, let's take build cost for right now. Actually, you know what? Let's just go and fight this army. This will be a lot easier this way. At point eight, you're not doing anything with it. And plus, we'll start sieging. That'll be... Let's just up the speed while we siege, because there's no point in not doing that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 21. Uh, we are losing more money the more that we uh, have to reinforce our troops. 7. Come on, surrender. Just do it. You know you want to. And we can actually finish this war before we even have to uh, migrate, I think. By the looks of it, at least. You know, it's got to be, like, what was it, August-ish? Uh, and then go this. Show strength. Doesn't cost us anything. Or here, suggest demands. And they would... No, let's just do show strength. Rather get the, the points right now than uh, money or vassalization from them and stuff. There we go. You guys can go back to our territory. Uh, migration is almost ready. Military stuff is almost ready. I like that. Uh, and then afterwards, we're basically just stockpiling points until, uh, you know, we encounter Europeans. More or less. Migrate to Bannock. Migrate. 
Uh, and this, we will go... Leader Shock. Yes, please. And that's it. We're out of time for this episode. So we're slowly making our way over to California. Um, like I suppose everyone does from the Midwest at some point in their life. Uh, but our, our, our whole goal is to eventually kind of take this entire trade node to ourselves and hopefully make a bunch of money off of it. Um, Mexico, we'd have to compete with the Aztec and stuff like that. Uh, oh, Apache have two provinces. They must have eaten someone. Um, they ate Pueblo. Oh, man. The, yeah, the Apache ate Pueblo, I think. Uh, and yeah, so we'll move over here. We'll start to colonize up. We'll eat these two. Colonize over here. We'll eat these guys. Uh, and then hopefully with the income from this and our s kind of slow slow expansion sort of out uh, out east then, we will um, hopefully be sort of ready to westernize by the time the Europeans show up. I know they should be showing up soonish. Uh... But yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. So I'm Manning. This is your Universalis Four. See you next time. Take care.